What's going on guys? This is Dicer with Button Man Gaming back again with another episode of Rewind Wild Arms 3. Uh, last week we finished up the prologue for Gallows and this week we've got one prologue left to run before we get into the real meat of the game. So we're gonna roll right on with the Drifter Guardsman. Or, if you prefer, you could call him Clive, since that's actually his name. That's that's okay, too. Whatever floats your boat. Clive is um, Clive is the heavy hitter of the group. Uh, I talked a little bit early on about uh, Virginia being the most powerful um, member of the party. Clive is the biggest damage dealer in the party. Uh, Virginia has a lot of of strengths that are, you know, a little bit more important I think than just <laughs> straight up doing damage, but. Um, yeah, if you need to lay a big hit on the enemy, Clive is the way to go. But, as is usually the case with characters like that, he's also the slowest guy in the game. Uh, while Virginia will act before 90% of the enemies you go up against, Clive is going to act after them. Now, that's sometimes that's a good thing. Um, the... Uh, battle system is set up in a way that you can actually use that to your advantage, especially in some of the later boss battles. Um, but I won't bore you with those details now because it doesn't really do you any good at this point. Uh, it makes a little more sense to see it in the context of, uh, of the uh, full party. Good. One heal berry. That's that's gonna save the day. That's the difference maker right there. Well, there's our first fight. And let's face it. No RPG is complete without wolves or some weird demonic version of them, at least. Conveniently, Clive starts the game at level 5, so we don't have to be quite as uh, diligent about leveling him up, because he's already where we want him to be. He'll probably hit level 6, maybe level 7 before we're done, depending on how many uh, random encounters pop up, since I can't really skip a lot of them. Um, the one downside of Clive early on is his uh, magazine size. Um, Virginia's got five shots, Gallows has um, four, I think, and uh, or Gallows might have more than that. I think he might have five or six, and uh, Jet has four. Clive only has two. Oh, look at that. A shady wall. Hmm. Bombed. All right. 
Let's, uh, let's do this. That's right. Oh, they got me. Tried to avoid it. Couldn't pull it off. That's a bummer. Oh, I can't use the... Can't use the bombs yet. Um, you cannot use tools when a random encounter is about to start. Unfortunately. get hurt if you stand on top of a bomb and let it explode in your face. Video game logic, we, we've all been there. Well, made it through. Turned around to look at my phone while that battle was starting. Didn't realize I made it through the door. Ooh. Gonna blow those things up, as you just saw, or uh, you'll be stuck dealing uh, dealing with a lot of incoming damage. Definitely gonna hit level six at this point. It's just too much room left in this place to not reach that. That's all right. Um. Oh yeah, that's the way we came in. Okay. Under there, it's a stop it. Come on, idiot. Treasure chest with a gimbal coin. Ooh. Fancy. Alright, here we go. This one's fun. Most of what's in here is... Actually, most of what's in here is useful right now. Two treasure chests. And this thing. Powerful and wicked presence emanates from the holographic archive. You sense something moving towards you from the darkness. This, right here, is the first of many, say first because it's the first one you find, um, of many hidden bosses scattered throughout the game, and one of the keys to 100% completion. And this sucker especially is one of the main reasons I've never actually pulled off 100% completion. That guy, uh, you have to fight him 100 times. But here's the problem with that. If it was just start the encounter, fight him 100 times, win, yeah, that's easy. You just stand there and grind it out. The only problem is having enough time to do it. Um, what makes him challenging is that each progressive fight, he gets stronger. In your first fight, he's level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, so on and so forth, eventually reaching level 100, as you might expect. But, um... Oh, darn. What, uh, what really adds to the challenge is that after the first encounter, he only shows up in random battles. Now, those random battles can occur in any dungeon in the entire game. Um, but it's a random encounter. There's no guarantee when a random encounter starts that you're going to be facing him. It could be just the ordinary enemies for that particular dungeon or that particular area. So you just have to sit there and keep track of where you're at. Thankfully, you can tell by his level at the beginning of a fight what number encounter you're on, but 
it's just, it's a royal pain in the butt. Um, there are a couple other things that I've never actually been able to be, uh, do completely. I don't know that I've ever opened all of the treasure chests in the game. I've gotten close. Ew. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a, there's, um, I think a couple other hidden, uh, secret bosses, encounters, whatever that I haven't done, but yeah, that, that first one is the worst, simply because RNG. I don't think I ever knew that he doubled the firepower. Never really paid attention to that. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Alright, we're gonna defend. Reload. There we go. I can foresee everything except a poison cloud of death stink. Nice work, Clive. Something is off with the colors. His coat looks purple in that avatar down there. And it's definitely brown. There it is. Level up. Condition, poison, and unfortunately I don't have anything yet to cure that. So just gotta find my way out. Um But uh Yeah, that was that's probably the most frustrating encounter, is sitting there trying to find this guy 100 times in random battles throughout every single dungeon in the game. It's ridiculous. And, uh, I've never actually done that completely. I think the, uh, I think the most times that I've ever encountered him has been, uh, what? five, maybe six. It's kind of embarrassing, actually. Alright, ow. Stop it, you're hurting me. Uh, flashbacks like that would make a little bit more sense with some dialogue, subtitles, something, anything. 
but I don't know. Maybe it's not supposed to make sense. Yet. Huh. Oops. Oh, yay. There's the antidote. I mean, if he had this, if he had that thing all this time, why not give me that instead of the heel berry? That would have been a lot more useful. Would have cured the poison in the cave. Spared everybody the trouble. Oh well. Yay, poisoned. This sucks. Because I have to keep shooting him until my FP is high enough to actually lock on. Which really freaking sucks. And I don't have Gallows handy, so I can't analyze him, see how close I am to beating him. Although it's a boss encounter, so it wouldn't show me that anyway. Look at you, Clive. Dodging attacks left and right. Or front and front. Boom! Easy peasy. And that about does it for Clive's prologue. Uh, next week, the real fun begins because we are finally getting the band back together. Uh, make sure you tune in every Thursday for the ongoing adventure that is Rewind Wild Arms 3. And in the meantime, go ahead and subscribe to our channel for even more heroic gaming content. We're still playing Minecraft, and Chills is running Iron Brigade when he can find the time. That's it for this run, though, so until next time, play like a hero.